my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus there are moments in our life when we feel discouraged disappointed frustrated the disciples who went from jerusalem to emmaus had similar feelings they themselves said jesus of nazareth proved he was a great prophet by the things he said and did in the sight of god and of the whole people our own hope had been that he would be the one to set israel free but then what a disappointment our chief priests and our leaders handed him over to be sentenced to death and had him crucified when we are disappointed my dear brothers and sisters we can be sure that the lord jesus cares about us in our moments of brokenness we can be sure the lord jesus is willing to walk by our side we will allow him to be our companion surely he will enlighten us was it not ordained that the christ should suffer and so enter into his glory the lord explains to them everything and look at the prayer of the disciples it is nearly evening the day is almost over stay with us lord the day is over it is evening everything looks dark in our life too stay with us lord stay in our family we want your presence bless us lord let us also ask the lord like cleopas and his companion surely we will see marvels While Jesus was with them at table he took the bread and said the blessing then he broke it and handed it to them and their eyes were opened and they recognized him their hearts were melting when he explained them the scriptures they recognized him when he broke the bread this is what is the holy mass allowing our hearts to be melted when we participate in the first part of the holy mass the liturgy of the word recognizing the lord in the breaking of the bread in the second part of the holy mass and we can't keep quiet we have to go again the journey to emmaus might have been long and arduous but then the journey from emmaus back to jerusalem was swift joyful with a purpose encountering the lord and being enlightened by him are not for our own benefit we need to carry jesus to others and tell others and also enlighten them proclaiming to them the lord is truly risen the lord enlightened me the lord showed me the purpose of my life come on you also come to the same lord experience him inviting others to participate in the joy and peace offered by the risen lord and in today's first reading we see how the same risen lord encounters through peter a man who was paralyzed right from the time he was born and peter tells him i do not have silver and gold but in the name of jesus christ i ask you get up and walk the man jumps up and then enters the temple praises god the man's journey up to that time was really boring painful unbearable but then he has begun a new journey thanks to the intervention of the risen lord he is brought back to communion the lord surely understands especially these days our moments of darkness hopelessness lord be with us lord explain us the scriptures lord break the bread with us we don't want to be like the rich man who didn't bother about lazarus who was not willing to break bread with him and enjoy your peace and prosperity we want to break bread with one another we want to see you breaking the bread and reminding us of your own passion and death for our salvation we want to recognize you lord strengthen our bones give us good health lord lord remove all anxiety and fear from our hearts strengthen our spirit strengthen our body 
may we walk in our pilgrimage of faith till we reach you with purpose with joy and may we also imitate you in walking along with others encouraging them correcting them being in communion with them and thus bring more and more glory to you who are our creator and redeemer amen